Hi, Dr. Spine here. Today we're going to talk about a complicated subject, autonomic dysreflexia. What it is, is it's a rise in blood pressure that people with spinal cord injury get when they have a pain stimulus somewhere below their lesion. So an autonomic dysreflexia as a condition is first signaled by very subtle symptoms. You may notice an increase in the tightness of your spasticity. You may notice goosebumps. Piloerection is what it is. Then be sweating. Then as the pressure goes up, you may get a pounding headache. And that is the sign that the blood pressure is going way up. The emergency is evolving. As time goes on, you may even get worse. You notice, you signal the word, other people are here, you could end up at the doctor. These people are frequently clueless. They have known nothing about it. That's why you have to know. You have to tell them what it is, how to treat it, what to look for, because this could save your life. So the question is, you know, why is this happening? Well, it's a hyperactive reflex. You know, like when we tap with a hammer on your knee, it jumps. The same with the pain stimulus. Let's use an example. Ingrown toenail. Insensate below the lesion. Don't feel it at all. But it's sending a pain stimulus to the spinal cord. That pain stimulus comes in, the sympathetic nervous system goes crazy. But there's no message getting past the lesion up to the brain that says pain. The, the brain can't get a message down to kind of modulate the response and kind of calm it down to a lower, lower pressure. So as a result, it escalates. There's a lot of reverb there that drives the pressure up. The first thing you do is you sit up straight or get someone to get you in that position. They get your head high and that lowers the blood pressure as much as we can as to the head. The next thing you, you do is you look for a cause. Now the most common area of, of cause for AD and spinal cord injury is bladder. If it's not the bladder, it's frequently the bowel. How long has it been since you've had a bowel movement? Then you need to think about other less common signs. Let's say you're at the uh, the doctor and, and you're looking for those. Well, you look at the skin for skin breakdown, you look for uh, evidence of irritation, uh, you look for rashes or burns. In women, menstruation itself, uh, labor pains can cause AD. You also can have uh, any intra-abdominal emergency causing AD. So you tell your doctor to look for those. We hope all AD episodes resolve great for you. A big part of it is going to be your own knowledge of the condition. And as always, take care of yourself and those around you. Until we see you next time.